everybody. I'm here with Alex Skolnick of Testament. How are you? I'm really good. I'm very high energy right now, so you're gonna have to forgive me because Amazing. I just played a couple songs. But <laughs> it was uh, it was a lot of fun, and that and just being dizzy from the whole Nam experience. Oh, did you come to Nam all three days so far? Uh, I've been here. Yeah, I've been here since Thursday. Thursday, I just sort of dropped in a little bit. Okay. But uh, yesterday and today, I've been. It was every day. I mean, sorry, all day. Yeah, but it is. It's all, all day. day. It's I mean, all night. It's go, go, go. No stop. No sleep. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm pretty mellow at night. Um, the first time I ever came to Nam was different. Yeah, <laughs> right, I remember right. just barely being able to make it in there <laughs> by like one or two. Right, holding but your then, eyes open. Yeah, but then you know you get a little bit older and wiser, and in my case, yeah, you have a. 10 a.m. meeting with a, a music uh, book publisher, and it's like, okay, so uh, I will, you know, I, I, you know, it's the, I, tonight I'm going to rage a little bit because I, mean, I have what nothing else to do. Ultimate Nam night. Yeah, I mean, come on. Yeah, How tonight. Cool is this? So, yeah, because I now all my work is done. Those songs are done, but I, I, I think I've. I've played like a dozen songs in the last two days that that I don't normally play. So I believe it, and especially here, we always do everything unrehearsed. Yeah, um, is is that something that you normally do? Because you seem very technical to me in your in your playing. So is that something that you would like to do? Just play unrehearsed, or or do you like the practice? I yeah, no, I'd much rather yeah. rehearse. <laughs> uh, but you know, I, I I also understand that's that's part of the fun of right. this whole event is to just throw everybody out there and say okay. Who did their homework? Right. Who didn't do their homework? And you're gonna get an A plus, but you, I don't know, you might get a C. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I did um, another a performance earlier today, and with a group of five musicians that none of us, most of us hadn't met before. Oh wow! And uh, we we rehearsed a bunch, and it was actually really good that we rehearsed. But, good. but it was like intimate acoustic music. It oh yeah. Really needed to be rehearsed. Yeah, that's something that like you don't have like something saying, hey, look over here. If there's a mistake over there, there isn't any of that. It's all focused when you're doing an yeah, acoustic set. Yeah, and it was an arrangement of an acoustic piece that wow. hasn't been recorded. So That's these pressure. are yeah, these are songs <laughs> that everybody's heard. So yeah. it's like, yeah, all, all we have to do for Ultimate Gemini is decide, are we doing the live version? Right. Are we doing the studio version? And what and what tuning are we playing in? Right. Are yeah. we doing the tuning <laughs> of yeah, the studio version or the live version? Yeah. yeah. Um, so tonight, I noticed here we have members of Exodus and Death Angel, and Exodus, Death Angel, and Testament. You're all going out on tour together this yeah. year. Tell me about that. Uh, are you looking forward to that? Like these are your brothers. You go way back. So yeah, it's pretty amazing. Um, I used to go to these. I used to go here Exodus in high school, and in a way, that was my introduction to the whole <laughs> music. It's partly why I'm here today. Right. Um, you know, Exodus. You know, they influence everybody. Um, yeah, uh, Kirk Hammett of Metallica formed the band, right? Um, and we all grew up watching them. The Death Angel decided to form a band after seeing Exodus, and um, I heard about Testament back when it was called Legacy because they were opening for Exodus. Oh, okay. So yeah, I mean, so there's this really uh, deep history, and uh, yeah, it just I think in the last few years, all the bands have had resurgences. Oh. I mean, hello, Death Angel being put up for a Grammy. Yeah, that's a, so great. And they're so deserving. And they've always been like the band that we all love that band. That's and so cool. Wants, but they, you know, everybody thought, you know, they need some kind of a break. And yeah. this is, it just couldn't happen to a nicer band. I, they all seem super yeah. nice. So, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, to have anybody on the level of like Death Angel, I mean, if it was you, you know, uh, Exodus, like, they all deserve you all deserve these nods so it's nice yeah. that it's finally starting to happen and get recognized and for them it's it feels it's like we, we all share in that yeah you know, oh absolutely that's a great and so yeah for all of us to be on tour together is going to be great we've never done it i mean um at least not all three bands right right death angel has toured with exodus Testament is sort of that testament. A death angel is sort of, but never, never all, all together. So Tell it's going to be really fun. Is there going to be any like fun surprises along the way? Uh, we're going to have each other play some songs together and things like that. That you're all going to be there. I think so. Yeah, I think so. Okay. And I think there may be some special guests joining at some point. That'd be uh, almost cannot... impossible not to. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because I'm sure anybody, too, if you're like, oh, would you want to play this song? They're going to say, yes, of course we do. You know, yeah, come on. Yeah. So. 
That's amazing. So yeah, we I think yeah, it's just going to be a really good time and I think it may happen in the right now it's just in Europe, but right. I think it may happen in the US. I think that's being worked on and fingers crossed everybody. I know that's what you're looking for, so And also, maybe. you know what? I I really appreciative <laughs> to uh, you guys and Polly and everybody for bringing this group. I I, I go back with Polly. I, I don't know Polly's if anybody knows. Awesome. I know him from the East Coast and um, him and his brother, we're, may he rest in peace. We're great, yes. we're great friends of mine, um, and I'm just so proud of him. He he just, you know, escaped New York. He like <laughs> yeah. reinvented himself out here in such a short time. Yes, um, and he really is like super amazing, and we just get along so wonderfully. Yeah. And he's a great frontman, and I mean his singing abilities are yeah stellar, crazy, stellar. they're yeah. crazy. I, I love watching. I him just perform. so positive, always just yes. positive, totally professional. Yes. But yeah, I always thought you know this could use a little more of the of the flavor, and yes. so just to have us Exodus, oh, we're, Death Angel, we're all very Anthrax, happy and, and it, yeah, it's, it balances it out. Yes, I totally agree. Even though yeah, there's plenty of uh, other types of oh, artists well, here. Well, they're, they're always like involved though, anyway. So it's nice to have, like you said, just a the other the other realm kind of step in for the night yeah absolutely yeah. and we're friends with a lot of the other yeah. types of bands so I've, i think I that's a that's a big misconception of the heavy metal world right like that that they're one way or whatever but really the metal world is probably the nicest of of all like oh yeah very open arms and you know always accepting of everybody so yeah i mean there's musicians here that you wouldn't Associate with the uh, Exodus Testament, Death Angel. Right. Yeah, Doug Aldrich, for example. But we all admire Doug. He's a great guitar player, and we're friends. I see Carmine a piece over yeah, there. Yep. And we're friends. Yeah, he's a legend. Great drummer. Yes. And uh, yeah, of course Charlie Benante, and then yep. are most East, East Coast drummers. They have that bond, and it's just a yeah, it's a really cool. Uh, yeah, it is really cool to sit here and look around and just go wow. This room is really filled with a lot of amazing musicians. I mean, you got Scott Pedro here for Pink Floyd. I mean, we oh, really yeah. have, like, everybody here, so yeah, it's pretty, pretty cool. It's surreal. And we're so happy and grateful that you're here tonight with us, oh, too, Alex. Thank, thank you so, so much. So great to be here. And thanks you so guys. much for playing and taking a minute to chat with me. I really I appreciate wish, it. I wouldn't miss it. Please hang up and try again.